Hello, 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 everybody. It's me, Maris, and it's Friday. It's Friday. I hope you've had a um, mm, hope you've had a great week. Yeah, I know. I've actually had a really great week, and I've been at a lot of peace this week. And part of it has to do with that I don't have electricity. Um, well, we have a generator, so it's like I do have electricity, just not a whole bunch of electricity. And it's actually been kind of nice, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't realize I had two weeks worth of clothes, so I was like, hey, you know, I'm always griping. I don't have any clothes. And then I realized, good morning, Azan. Um, then I realized I do have clothes to wear. So today we're going to be using the Shaman Oracle cards. Um, they're a little bit, they're uh, a deep card. They have great discernment. Um, what? Uh, good morning, Dion. Um, uh, what I would look at it. Ooh, okay. Well, we got some that already flew out. Hold on. Okay, one, two, three. Um, I, I look at them as being a card um, that is kind of like a little bit more gentler. Um, you know, serious. Um, they're not what I would call playful <laughs> by any means. Uh, good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Ronnie. Um, they are what I would call, um, they're, they're deep and discerning. It's kind of like talking to, uh, one of the elders in your group or your community that's very, very, very wise and doesn't show a lot of emotion either way. Does that make sense? It's kind of like always being on an even keel. They're not like, Wah! and they're not like, Wah! Um, they're just like, this is the way it is, and um, let me show you this path. That's the energy in these cards. Okay, well, I had three that coughed out. And um, I don't have anything else coming up. So I guess we're going to roll with those. Okay, we will be doing Reiki this Sunday. Um, and then um, also recording a podcast. So I'm looking forward to that. So let's take a look at the uh, weekend energy forecast. Now the Rainmaker, what does a Rainmaker do? Rainmaker creates rain, right? All right, there, uh, and, and I was going to say, expect miracles this weekend. Expect some miracles this weekend. What we're looking at here on the Rainmaker is the energy that's coming in. And I'm like, um, expect a miracle, uh, making something from nothing. Not like in a negative way, but like when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. You're going to create. So there's a lot of really beautiful miracle kind of energy, expecting the unexpected or unexpected. I don't know. How do you say that? It's just a lot of really good energy coming in, a lot of miracle type energy, a really high vibration. Um, the Rainmaker, what was the Rainmaker's job? Is that when we were smack in the middle of a drought, the Rainmaker came in and did their ceremony, ritual, whatever you want to call it, prayers, um, and they uh, and rain would come. You know, so that's that Rainmaker energy. And so I want you to look at it as in miracles. Um, unexpected, very cool things coming through, um, very, very even, um, beautiful, illuminating energy. So good energy coming in. Now let's see what plays with that good energy. Oh, oh, my stomach. No, just kidding. Yeah, well, no, I'm not really kidding. All right, so... If the circle was up like this, I would be like, oh, yeah, things flowing within that, that flowing within the season, flowing within the cycle. But the circle is upside down. So um, it, I'm going to make you giggle for just a second. It's just kind of like trying to slide up a, up a hill instead of down a hill. So it's even though we've got the Rainmaker coming in and we've got some really beautiful energy um, associated with that and very beautiful outcomes associated with that, 
it's going to be an uphill work. It's, you know, um, I'm, I'm just seeing it's kind of like trying to push things uphill um, and they weigh more than you do, you know, and you're like, ah, crap, it's going to roll over me. So a little bit of burden, a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of work is going to be associated in with that. So let's take a look at the last card. And, oh, very, 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 very cool. Woohoo! Okay, so um, what's the ending result? The mystical shaman. What's that mystical shaman? That's kind of like being touched by God, being the chosen, being in the right place at the right time, doing the right things. That's what we're looking at on this energy. Being in the right place at the right time, doing the right things. It's not going to be an easy weekend as an easy peasy. Things flow and there's a beautiful, oh yeah, rock and roll with it. It's all about it. Uh, getting into this beautiful unexpected point that, you know, miracles happen, things happen, good things happen. But don't expect it to be easy peasy. There's going to be a little bit of work associated with it. And sometimes it's going to feel like you're trying to push um, a ball, a big boulder, a round boulder uphill. And it's going to be a lot of work and a lot of effort with it. But it is a tangible thing. So starting with the Rainmaker. The Rainmaker's talking about making something from nothing. Making lemonades from really yucky, bad looking lemons. But it comes out beautiful. Rainmaker creating the rain from the drought. And then we know that the circle. So um, if it was like, oh, it's all in season. It all comes together. And it's like, no, honey. You're going to have to work for this beautiful stuff coming in. And guess what? When you put in that effort and you put in that vibration and you put in that work, then we have that grooviness of the mystical shaman coming through where we are totally in a good and anointed place. So... Um, catch up with us on Sunday morning, and it's Sunday in my world, uh, Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time here in Oklahoma. We'll be here in the atrium, so if you want to come hang out in the atrium and come jam and do some healing with us, we'll be here at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, and then Right after, um, right after uh, the Reiki healing, then we'll be recording a podcast, and you're always welcome to be a part of the podcast. I think it's going to be willy-nilly. Um, it's like whatever we feel like talking about. Um, of course, it's always kind of based around the stuff that we do. Uh, so you're welcome to be here and meet with us um, on Sunday morning, 8 a.m. Central Time here in Oklahoma City. Um, all the scoop, all the address, everything is over here on the page. But feel free to, um, you know, give us a shout on this post and um, I'll give you directions on how to get here. So peace, love, and harmony. I hope to see you on Sunday. But if I don't see you Sunday, I'm sure I'll see you on Monday for the weekly energy forecast.